Hello everyone and welcome back to Tinder Lost Gaming and welcome back to my playthrough of Edge of the Earth campaign from Fantasy Fight Games for Arkham Horror the Living Card Game. A um, few little things to, to touch upon in this in this episode. First of all, as you can see from my social medias down, the, down in the link there or the, down in the uh, title screen, I now have a Discord server. Um, it's Tinder Lost Gaming. So be really pleased if people would want to come along and chat about all things board game, Arkham Horror, Hellboy, um, Arkham Horror, the board game. Uh, there will be other games I've got coming up, um, just as, a, as an FYI. But if you want to join the Discord server, now search for Tinder Lost Gaming. Okay, um, so where are we at? We're at the Edge of the Earth campaign. So let's move across to see where we are from the scenario point of view. So at the moment, we played through Ice and Death. We played through three three parts of that. Um, we didn't play Fatal Mirage, if memory serves me correctly. I could have missed it. It's been, <laughs> been a while recording. Anyway, today, uh, the campaign book has instructed us to play the scenario to the Forbidden Peaks. I am going to be doing something slightly different uh, moving forward. Um, I'm, I'm noticing that obviously these playthroughs are coming in at about three, three and a half hours, four hours, anywhere between three and four hours, which I appreciate people don't have the time to um, look at them and watch all the way through these videos all the time. So I'm going to try something slightly different uh, for, for the remainder of the campaign. I'm going to be releasing our, um, our episodes which clearly probably won't finish um, scenarios, but I thought it might be a bit more accessible for people to, to just watch an hour at a time. I mean, I know obviously you can watch three hours and pause it and come back to it and stuff, but I'd really appreciate um, your comments, your thoughts, what format works best for you. Um, is it, you know, uploading a, a, an hour at a time? Do you just dip in and out? Or would you prefer sort of like the full scenario playthrough? And obviously, I'll apply this going forward to, to other games I play as well. So really be interested to, to know your thoughts on that. So th this, this this episode is going to be roughly about an hour long, um, which means we probably won't get to the end of the scenario. But I'll, I'll pick an appropriate point to, to stop. But like I say, be really interested to hear your thoughts on that. So a few little things, a bit of housekeeping before we start the actual scenario. Um, there was some XP spent at the end of the scenario. Uh, and just to let you know, so with Monty, what I've done is I've taken out uh, pocket two pocket telescopes and two sneak attacks. And I've put in two one cost in the no, which is uh, use of three secrets, spend one secret, investigate any revealed location in play as if you were at that location. And uh, one cost, one XP cost, two copies of Pathfinder, free action during your turn. If you're not engaged with an enemy, any enemy, exhaust Pathfinder, move to a connecting location. Um, looking at the way this scenario is set up, I was obviously had a bit of a pre-read and a, so I could get everything sorted out. I don't know how, how useful these are going to be in this particular scenario, but I thought they would be useful going forward. So that's Monty. And with Daniela, um, quite simply, I've taken out two toe-to-toes and put in two Aquinas, who's a, an ally asset. And she has a trigger when an enemy attacks you, exhaust Aquina and deal one horror to her. Deal that enemy's damage to any enemy at your location. Um, instead, you still take the horror from that attack. And she's a one, um, one health for sanity um, ally so that's really useful i think for her going forward um, so that's a bit of um, bit of housekeeping in regards to where we're currently i'm going to set the scenario up in just a second but as with all of these scenarios we get to choose one of our um, other allies that we can bring into play and i've chosen to keep with avery claypool and professor william dyer they do come in with the damage or sanity loss that they've previously received. So William's taken two sanity loss 
and Avery's taken one damage and one sanity loss, but I thought they were really useful. Professor Dyer obviously can heal, um, horror, etc. Um, yes, yeah, so that's where we're at. So let's have a quick look at the cards. So we're going to go to the Forbidden Peaks and we're playing it on standard. Um, so a skull is minus X, where X is the level of your location, and that will come into uh, that makes more sense in a second. Now the cultist, if you it's a minus one, and if you fail, you move to the location directly below you. Again, that will come into play in a second. The tablet is minus three, and if you fail, lose control of an expedition asset and place it at your location. And then the elder thing is minus four. If you fail, the nearest elder thing enemy moves towards you. If it's engaged, it attacks you. And the scenario requires us actually in the scenario bag or the chaos bag to put one of those tokens in there. So that's in there. So let's have a quick look at the agenda. The agenda is agenda 1A, Forbidden Peaks. You arrive at the foothills of the menacing mountain. The strange caves and odd formations at the mountain summit beg to be explored. Forced. After you move to a location, return all of your clues to the token pool. And that's got a six doom on it. And then we've got the act, which is a one, what, just one act in this. Carry as much as, as as much expedition gear as you can. You must climb the imposing mountain side to unlock the secrets that lie on the other side. As an action, take control of an expedition asset at your location. And an objective, quite simply, get to the top of the mountain. If each under if each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. Okay, so there we go. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clear this board um, of my, my allies and some of my XP and, and cards. And then we've got some setting up to do in regards to how the scenario is actually laid out. So I will be back in just a second. Okay, right. Welcome back to the table. Um, got my coffee and we are ready to go. So first thing we need to do, I'm just going to read through this, the campaign setup from the book. Just make sure we've covered everything. So it says, um, investigator setup. Each investigator may choose one available member of the expedition team who's not crossed off, which we've done, Avery and Professor Dyer. Um, we, we bring them into play with their, um, with their uh, wounds, etc., which we've done. Gather all the cards from the encounter deck, which I've done over here. We'll give that a shuffle in a sec. It has been shuffled, but I'll shuffle it on camera. So it says shuffle the seven mountainside locations and put five into play in a diagonal line. So that's the next thing we will do. We'll shuffle these. Then we'll do a cat weasel cut. And then we'll do one there. Two there. Three there, four there, and then five there. We'll make sure they're nice and straight. We'll give them a bit more room. Hopefully that's enough. Give it a bit more. The space that'll do so that's five each of them on the card says you cannot enter this location unless all of the clues on the location directly below it have been discovered and every single one of those has got that on it okay so we've done that so this is level zero level one level two level three level four Level five is the summit. Add a elder token to the chaos bag, which is what I've done with this. It's in there. 
check the supplies recovered section of the campaign log and put each expedition story asset listed into play at the level zero location which is what we've done we have got and i'll go through these on camera we've got mineral specimen it's got three charges on it it's an item relic two intellect one wild card action spend a charge investigate with a base skill of five cancel each ice token revealed during this test if you succeed discover one additional clue at your location that could be good for daniela whose base skill is one so that comes down here then we've got spare parts which is a two wheel wild card use three supplies as a free action Spend one supply and exhaust spare parts. Add uh, one supply to another asset at your location. That could be good for Avery. He comes in with supplies. Or choose it your, an investigator at your location to gain a resource. That's cool. So that can go there as well. And then finally, we've got Miasmic Crystals, which is two wheel, a wild card, three charges. When an invest as a free action, when an investigator at your location draws a Taliki card, spend one charge. That investigator cancels the effect of that weakness, places it at the bottom of the Taliki deck, and draws a card. Very nice. Okay, handy. So they all go down the bottom there. Can't quite fit them in. Got my coffee. Have a little quick surf of that. One thing I would recommend when you're playing Arkham Horror drink coffee um, set the terror of the stars enemy aside out of play which is what I've done check the difficulty we're playing on standard so we don't add a doom to agenda one that's good shuffle the Taliki deck that's just off camera but I'll grab that so we can shuffle it this is the Taliki deck we'll give it a shuffle It wouldn't be an MB shuffle unless I dropped the card. Cat weasel cut. And then they can just go off, off camera. Go there. Shuffle the remainder of the encounter deck. Well, it has been shuffled, but again, I'll shuffle it on oh, camera. Quite a lot in there. Oh my goodness. Cat weasel cut. And then that can go back there. You are now ready to begin play. Okay. Alrighty then. That's our chaos bag. Grab a seat. So Monterey. And Daniela begin at level zero. And let's turn that over, see what we've got. We have got White Bluff. Three shroud, um, two clues per invest, uh, one clue per investigator. Shroud of three. I don't know if I just said that, but shroud of three. Forced. After you move to White Bluff from a location below it, Test Agility X. X is 1 plus this location's level. If you fail, lose control of an expedition asset at, and place it at White Bluff. Well, that's not going to happen because that is the lowest. We can't, we, can, we can't move to that from a location below it. That's good. Um, it's got a victory point of 1 on it as well, which is awesome. Okay. So, next thing's next. Let's get our starting decks. We've got our five resources. We've got our actions. We're all good to go. Daniela managed to remove her mental trauma. Um, so she's starting at um, eight health and six sanity. And Monterey is starting at eight health and six sanity as well. So we're good. So let's draw up. Let's just shuffle Monty's Jack. Monty's. Monty's deck. Cat weasel cut. 
and let's draw our starting hand. So we're going to go with Trusty Bull Whip. Very good. Elusive, not so good. Leo DeLuca. Scout ahead. Well, that's not really going to come into play too much in this because we can't move into location. Might come into play later, but we can't move until we're clear clues. Um, buried Secrets is a, re a weakness, so we're going to draw a lucky cigarette case. Um, I'm going to ditch all of that bar. Just have a quick look. Lucky cigarette case. Hmm. I might keep that. I might keep that because we're going to be, we could be good here. So I'm going to keep Lucky Cigarette Case and Trusty Bull Whip. Oh, I'm going to keep Leo and ditch those two. So draw another two and we're going to get another Scout ahead and we're going to get a Slip Away. Not too bad, not great, but not too bad. So Put that there for a sec, grab those, put those in, and then we'll give that a final shuffle. Cat weasel cut. Okay, so that's Monty all done. Daniela. Again, shuffle, and then we'll draw her starting hand. What we're looking for, Daniela, is a weapon, a couple of weapons maybe in a bandolier is what we're really looking for. So first one's mob goons, that can go. So first one, live and learn. Let me handle this. Survival knife. And a queener. And a dodge. Um, okay, so we're going to keep the survival knife and the queener. And then the rest we're going to ditch. So we're going to draw three new cards. So we're going to get a guard dog, another guard dog, and a lucky. Okay, not too bad. That's her starting hand. And then we'll give these a shuffle. That way's all cut. And then that's her deck ready to go. So as ever in um, Arkham Horror LCG, we miss, we miss, we skip the mythos phase, we go straight to the investigation phase, or this, oh, Monty's going to be the lead investigator. So first things first, um, as an action, Monty's going to pull the spare parts, pick up the spare parts and play it. Um, as an action, take, take control of an asset at your location. So that one action, he takes control of it. So it starts off um, three supplies on it. As ever, um, using the um, LCG tokens, uh, which are really good. I would recommend um, picking up some of those because they just really make the game pop for me. So he comes in with three supplies. That's Monty's first action. Second action. We're going to get set up, I think. Um, we'll pay second action. We'll pay two for a trusty ball whip. Let's just move these out of the way for a second, otherwise I'm going to get a bit confused with what's what. So that was his second action. Third action. 
pay two. for a lucky cigarette case. Okay, not too shabby. Daniela, first action, she is gonna take control of the mineral specimen, which allows her to investigate with a base skill of five. And that comes in with three charges i'll just one two three now second action pay two for a survival knife. Handy for her ability as well. And then third action, we're not gonna get a cleaner out just yet. We will pay three. For a guard dog. That's it for the investigation phase. We move on to the enemy phase. Well, there are clearly no enemies in play first turn, so we skip that step. We move on to the upkeep phase. And we reset our actions. We ready any exhausted cards, none to ready. Um, we draw a card and gain a resource. So Monty gets one. Daniela gets one. Um, we draw a card. Monty is going to get a Pathfinder, which is quite cool. Um, three cost. And then Daniela is going to get, oh, Chronophobia. Well, good to get it now. Uh, put Chronophobia into play in your threat area. Um, at the end of your turn, take one direct horror, two actions to discard it. So that's pretty much we know what Daniela is going to be doing next turn. So that is it for the upkeep phase. We check our hand size, we're miles away from eight. We then move on to the mythos phase. First thing we do is we put a doom on the doom. One of six. We check um, to see if we advance it. We don't. And then each investigator draws a card for um, the Mythos face. So first one is going to be uh, Monty. And he's going to get, lovely, a Guardian Elder Thing. Hunter, um, when you deal damage to Guardian Elder Thing, each point of damage dealt, discard the top card of your deck, draw each weakness discarded this way. Oh my god. When you deal damage to the Guardian Elder thing, each point of damage dealt, discard the top card of your deck. That's disgusting. Um, three fight, four health, one to evade. Ouch. So that's going to come into play in Monty's threat area. So we'll put that there like that so we know what we're doing and then Daniela is going to get ice shaft test agility three for each ice token revealed during this test take one damage if you fail take two damage oh I hate this one she always gets that What's she got agility wise well, we've got lucky we've got a queen there which has got an agility pick on it but I'm not, not too enamoured to chuck a queen or a way on that. Um, see if there's anything that we can do card-wise. There isn't. Okay, so she's going um, two against three. Straight two against three, but we have got a lucky. So... 
minus one. So it's one against three. One against three, that's perfect. Um, she will pay one. To play lucky. Uh, which is, I get plus two to the skill value for the test. I'm at one. Um, a plus two takes us to a three. So that is a draw, which is a win. So we discard. We discard lucky. And we get to pass. That can go there like that. Okay. Right. Okay, investigation phase. Well, with Chronophobia in play, that's a real nightmare because uh, I was I could have engaged the Guardian Elder thing with um, four. Got three hits of it. I could go one hit, two hits. For two damage, and then third hit, we could we could exhaust trusty ball whip to do the plus one damage. Um, yeah, it does one damage and one sanity, four health. We could get lucky, or we go in hand. She uses our agility. Well, everything we've got on, we've got three cards that have got agility pips on it, which is good. So five versus four, uh, five versus three at the moment. So I will spend his first action to fight the elder thing with his trusty ball whip. Uh, so we're at five versus three. I will discard a slip away to give me six versus three. Six versus three. And we're going to get. Oh, minus four. Ouch. Right, that's one of the worst ones we could get. So it's minus four. So um, six versus three takes us down to two versus three. We've got nothing that we can do to avoid that. Nope. Um, and the nearest elder thing enemy, it is an elder thing engaged with me, uh, moves towards us, doesn't need to, but it, if it's engaged with it, attacks. Ouch. So we are going to take um, one and one. I'm going to put one sanity. Uh, going to put one sanity on Avery. And then I'll take a damage down to seven. That can go back in the bag. That was annoying. Okay, second action. Second action. Fight again with the trusty bull whip. Um, and play Pathfinder to, get, to make it six versus three again. Six versus three. And we are going to get 
Oh my god. Ah, six versus three. Minus X. X is the level of our location. We are at the bottom location, which is level zero. So we win. And we do uh, one damage to it. Let's just find the one damage, which is, oops, well, one, one damage. But that kicks in. When you deal damage to the Guardian Elder thing for each point of damage dealt, discard the top card of your deck. So we're going to do one point of damage. So we'll discard this one, which is a weakness. Draw each weakness. Um, so this is Buried Secrets. Um, put Buried Secrets into play in your threat area. If your location can be investigated, you cannot move by scenario, but except by scenario. A card effects investigate if you succeed instead of discarding discovering clues discard buried secrets Ouch. well this has certainly started with a bang um anyway that was um monty's second action we've done a point of damage third action is going to be to fight again and i'm going to chuck in a scout ahead Actually, I will tap Lucky Cigarette Case because I did win by two or more. It was six versus three and there was no minuses. So I'll draw a card. Backstab. Oh, if only I've had backstab earlier. Never mind. Never mind. Um, so yeah, fighting with the ball whip. Um, I'm chucking in a scout ahead to make it seven versus three. Um, fighting with my agility rather than my um, fight. Seven versus three. Get the right camera on. And we get a minus four. We are good. Seven versus three, minus four. We still win because um, it takes us down to three and we know a draw is a win. Wow, Chaos Bag is being ridiculous today. And I will tap Trusty Ball Whip. To automatically evade the Elder thing. Because I think I can kill it next turn so that's that's evaded let's put that there like that so we know it's evaded i could have done two damage but i've got a backstab in hand and i didn't really want to take any more um i didn't really want to take any more hits so I would have taken a hit because, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to automatically evade it. So trusty ball whip's been done. Um, right, first things first for Daniela. Let's get rid of chronophobia. So I'll spend two actions to get rid of that, which is a real pain. A real pain. But that's the way this game plays. It uses your actions up. It uses your actions up. Um... Third and final action. Um, she is going to um, use Professor Dyer as an action. Spend a secret. Boom. That's that done. Um, and exhaust Professor Dyer. Oops, just move these across a sec so we can exhaust him. That's him exhausted. And it says heal um, two horror from an, an investigator or another ally asset at your location. And I'm going to remove the two horror from Avery. Hopefully that's the right play. So that was quite short and sweet from Daniela because she only had one action effectively because of chronophobia. So that's her done. Um, that's it for the investigation phase. We move on to the enemy phase. Well, the enemy is exhausted and doesn't ready yet. 
because um, it doesn't. Um, I was used to play this wrong. It doesn't ready. Um, so it says in the enemy phase, enemies with the hunter keyword move towards the nearest investigator, which it can't. It has got hunter, but it's exhausted. Each enemy engage each engaged enemy attacks if able. It's not engaged anymore because we've exhausted it. It doesn't say to ready enemies. So that's a good little tip, really, because sometimes that can be a bit confusing. I, certainly when I first started playing, not, well, I was playing it wrong. Um, when when it got to the enemy phase, I was automatically readying enemies, and that doesn't say that. So we then move on to the upkeep phase. Um, reset our actions. So we both get our three actions back. We ready all exhausted cards. So this elder thing readies. And now because it wasn't engaged, um, it wasn't engaged with anybody because when it when you disen when you uh, evade it you disengage it because there's two um, there's two people at the um, place I can I can decide who to engage it with um, I think I'm going to keep it engaged with with um, Monty to be honest with you because he's got his trusty ball whip which can do two damage and he's got a sneak attack as well or backstab backstab so I am going to keep it engaged um, with Monty. Can we ready also Professor William Dyer? He gets readied. Um, we draw a card and gain a resource. So Monty gets a resource, Daniela gets a resource. We draw a card, Monty is going to get. An ethereal slip. Choose a non-elite enemy at any revealed location. Swap places with that enemy. And Daniela is going to get a dodge. Fast play when an enemy attacks you at your location. So we've got, I think we've got a couple of dodge. Maybe I've got a dodge. That's, uh, that's cool. Um, we check our hand size. We're all good. We've drawn our resource. That's the end of the upkeep phase. We then move on to the mythos phase. First thing we do is put a doom. So two of six. We need to get a shivy on. Um, we check it. Check it. We're all fine. Um, and then we start drawing cards. So we'll go to Monty first of all as the lead investigator is going to get an ice shaft. Test agility three. Now this is slightly better for Monty because this is agility five. So it's five versus three. Five versus three. Oh, the way our Chaos Bag is playing at the moment. I think I am. I'm going to put in an Ethereal Slip, which is two agility pips on it, to take me to seven versus three. So seven versus three. We are going to get a minus zero. So that's good. Um, we don't fall through the ice shaft. Bit of a waste of an ethereal slip, but like I say, the way the chaos bag playing at the moment, bit of a nightmare. And then the card for um, Daniela is going to be Blasphemous Visions. Revelation. Sh shuffle the top card of the Taliki deck into your deck without looking at it. Then put Blasphemous Visions into play in your threat area. Resolve the effects of each Taliki weakness you draw an additional time. Test um, Willpower 3. If you succeed, discard Blasphemous Tones. Okay. So that's in play in her area. Shuffle the top, shuffle the top card of the Taliki deck into your deck. Okay, so this is the Taliki deck which has been shuffled, so I'll take that card there, put that off to one side. Then we'll grab her deck and we'll put it in and then we'll shuffle it. So I think we know who's going to pick up the Miasmic Crystals now. Oh. Oh, for 
for goodness sake. What you can't see is I'm shuffling around. I've got tripods and stuff. <laughs> that can be slightly annoyingly in the way. Uh, and then we'll do the standard cat weasel cut. And then this can go back down as her deck. Okay, so that was it for the Mythos phase. We move on to the investigation phase. I think a slurp of coffee is required at this point. Okay. Oh, we forgot to ready. We forgot to ready trusty ball whip and lucky cigarette case. Okay. So first things first, let's get Monty dealing with this um, Guardian Elder thing. Okay. Hmm. Let's just uh, having a quick look and see what Daniela's got. Well, she's got a dodge that she can chuck in. Okay, let's try and deal with this elder thing. So first things first, he's going to fight, use an action to fight with his trusty bull whip, which uses his agility rather than his fight. Daniela will assist and chuck in a dodge to give him another pip. So it's six versus three. Six versus three. We're going to get a zero. Excellent. Six versus three. Hmm. Um, do we do the plus one damage or do we rely on the backstab? Nope. I'm going to tap trusty bull whip to make sure I've hit now. Six versus three, zero. So I tap the trusty bull whip to do a t an additional two damage. That takes it to three. That takes it to three. A few things going on here at the same time. Six versus three. So we did um, succeed at a skill test by two or more. So we tap Lucky Cigarette Case to draw a card. Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec before I look at that card. The order in which I think I should do this. So I've just done two damage. So I need to discard two cards um, I'll, I'll resolve that bit first. So discarding two cards because I've done two damage. So I'm going to discard an elusive and I'm going to discard a think on your feet. And then I tap Lucky Cigarette Case to draw a card, which is magnifying glass. Not very useful. Could have done with those actually. Never mind. Okay, so that was his first action. Second action, I'm going to have a go at backstabbing it. Now it's only five versus three. I can't do enough about that. I've got nothing in hand. Magnifying glass and Leo, don't give me any pips. I could chuck in an Aquina. Oh. No. Oh, do I? Do I chuck in an Aquina? 
I've already got guard dog out. I've got another guard dog in hand. Maybe the wrong play. I'm going to chuck in an Aquina to help out to make it six versus three. Decisions, decisions. Six versus three, and we're going to get. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Um, plus one, seven versus three. If you started this round one or more locations away from your current location, gain a resource or draw a card. Well, we haven't done that. and Monty's ability is not really going to come into play too much in this, I don't think. So we do do it. We do do it. We do kill it. Um, that's two damage. That takes it to five damage. Um, so I've done... I assume the, the one damage doesn't carry over. So one damage kills it. So I've done one damage to it, so I have to discard a card, which is another elusive. That is horrible, that Guardian Elder thing. You, you would have thought they would be, but anyway. So that's him gone. That was Monty's second action. His third action. To try and bring things into play, he's going to pay one. going to pay one action, one resource to bring in a magnifying glass. Hopefully, next term we can we can start things a rocking. Okay. So next up we have got Daniela. Let's try and get rid of some of these clues. First action, though, is to pick up the Miasmic Crystals and bring into play. Comes in with three charges on it. We can start ignoring Teliki cards. Tekiliki, wherever you spell it. Tekiliki. Tekiliki. Um, that's her first action. Second action. Do we want to try and get rid of this blasphemous time, blasphemous visions? Because that could come back to bite us. We've got miasmic crystals in play now. It just, uh, just annoys me having treacheries in play. Bit of an OCD thing going on. Um, she is will four, will three. Nothing that she can really. So we'll investigate using the mineral specimens. Spend an, um, a charge investigating at a base of five. So we're going five versus three to investigate. Five versus three. Oh my god, <laughs> I shuffled these. Um, so that is plus one. If you were attacked this round, you automatically succeed instead. So that is um, Daniela getting a clue. My God, don't say that very often. Daniela getting a clue. Do we spend... So that was her second action. Do we have another go using my mineral specimens? Because we've got Monty now. We've got Monty now. Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, is there anything else I need to do? Not really. Let's try and clear these clues quick, quickly, quickly. So I spend a, an action, spend, and again, five versus three. And we're going to get minus zero. We're at location zero, so we succeed. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So that's the two clues off of the white bluff. Okay. That's it for the investigation phase. We then move on to the enemy phase. There are no enemies in play. Blasphemous Visions is not an enemy. Um, nothing else there. So we then move on to the upkeep phase. We reset our actions. 
We ready any exhausted cards? So trusty ball whip and lucky cigarette case come back into play. We gain a resource and draw a card. Gain a resource, draw a card. Monty is going to get. Think on your feet. Oh, what am I doing? Think on your feet goes there. And Daniela is going to get a vicious blow. Okay, happy with that. Um, we check our hand size, we're all good. Stop the upkeep phase, we move into the mythos phase. We put a doom on the forbidden peaks agenda. So we're three of six. We check it, we're all good. We then go to drawing a cart. So Monty is going to get Antarctic Wind attached to the nearest location without a copy of Antarctic Wind. Investigators at a latched location cannot play cards or draw cards from their deck at the end of the round discard Antarctic Wind. Well, that's not too bad. I can, I can handle that. That's going to go into the white bluff there. And then Daniela is going to get Snowfall. Oh, place two clues at your location. <laughs> oh, that's very cool. That is very cool, Fantasy Flight. Very cool indeed. You cheeky little buggers. Okay, so we've put two more clues on at White Bluff. So we're not going to be moving. <laughs> Um, we're sort of stuck at the white bluff at the minute. That snowfall is really good. I like that. <sighs> right, okay. We need to get a shibby on here. So we're going to go into the investigation phase. First of all, let's try and get uh, Monty get rid of buried secrets. So we are going to do as an action. We're going to investigate. Um, he is... Uh, currently five versus three so this is going to be his action five versus three to investigate we'll make it we'll make it six versus three with think on your feet Six versus three. What are we going to get? A minus one. The Chaos Bag has warmed up now. Excellent. So we get rid of um, Buried Secrets. So that's gone. Thank goodness. Second action. We'll have a go at investigating. Um, straight away six versus three we got uh minus one didn't we so five versus three we do win by two so i'll tap lucky cigarette case to draw a card hiking boots very handy not going to put those on just yet but very handy for this very thematic for this thing this uh this uh scenario second action going to investigate five versus three Five versus three. I'm not going to chuck a Leo De Luca in there. Five versus three. And we're going to get a cultist. Minus one. Five versus three at minus one. So we win. So we don't have to worry about that. We couldn't fall any further down anyway because we've got the bomb. So we get the clue token. Comes on to Monty's card. Monty's thing. And then third action, third action, we're going to go five versus three again. Five versus three. Ah, oh, auto fail. That's in that for a while. Okay. 
so that's it for Monty. He's had his three actions. Daniela's going to see if she can she can pick up the pace here. So first action from Daniela is she is going to um, investigate using the mineral specimen. So that's the last that's the last one of that. She's going five versus three. Is there anything that she can chuck in? No, she's got a vicious blow on a guard dog. Nothing. No pips there. So she's going straight five versus three. Five versus three. Minus two. Five versus three, minus two. We are good. That was Daniela's first action. So she gets the clue off of the white bluffs. Okay. Second action. Second action, she's going to move up the mountain, which turns this one over. Deep drifts. One, uh, three clues per investigator. Bloody hell, six clues on it. It's only a one shrouder though. Oh, wrong one. Forced, after you move to Deep Drift from your location below it, discard the top three cards of your deck. Draw each weakness discarded this way. Okay. So three cards. So first one. Discard. Um, so we're going to discard a machete. Ouch. We're going to discard a scene of the crime. And we're going to discard... Oh, we're going to discard a sledgehammer. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. Um, we didn't draw any weaknesses, so that's cool. Shroud of one. Okay. That's Daniela, she's there. Oops. Try and get these so they're, they're fairly straight. Sorry, get a bit. Okay. So that was her second action. Third action. Third action. Just going to draw a card. Just going to draw a card. Oops, sorry. Just going to draw a card. Overpower. So that was her third action. Okay, so that's the end of the investigation phase. We move on to the enemy phase. There are no enemies in play. We're all good. Um, we're then going to move on to the upkeep phase. Reset any actions. So Monty gets his three back. Daniela gets her three back. We ready an exhausted card. Lucky cigarette case gets, gets readied. We draw a card and gain a resource. So Monty's going to get a resource. Daniela's going to get a resource. We draw a card. Monty's going to get field work. After you move to a field location, we're going to get plus two. So that's good. And then Daniela is going to draw a bandolier. <laughs> bandolier and sledgehammer. Anyway, we've got bandolier in play. Okay. So, so that's the end of the upkeep phase, and at that point, I think we're about an hour in. Um, 
We've moved up to the deep drifts. Monty's still stuck at the White Bluffs, but he'll be able to move up in his next action. Oh, Antarctic wind goes at the end of the turn. So we'll call it there. Quick hours worth. Um, like I say, I'm just trying this format out to see if people like it. Um, we'll, you know, um, we'll be uh, moving on uh, with the scenario in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. So just to recap where we're at, right? Daniela has been uh, the clue gatherer so far. Oh, we have to discard all of those clues, don't we? Um, after you move to a location, return all of your clues to the token pool. So all of those go. Put those down there. So we've lost all of our clues, which is fine. We've got six to pick up from Deep Drifts. So Daniela's moving ahead a little bit, um, scouting ahead. Monty's just been sorting out some Guardian Elder things uh, with his trusty bull whip, Anna, Indiana Jones style. Um, we're halfway through the agenda, three of six, so that's not looking particularly good. Um, but anyway, really enjoying it. Again, lovely scenario mechanics. Snowfall is an excellent card, <laughs> really good. Um, Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll continue onwards and upwards in the next um, episode. But hope you're enjoying the, the campaign so far. Hope you're enjoying the way it's um, set up. Um, please uh, like and subscribe to the, the videos uh, and the channel. It really does help. And uh, pop along to the um, Discord channel if you get a chance. It'd be good to see you there. Anyway, you take care and I'll see you in the next episode.